Well, hello, this is Evan with the Crested Butte Avalanche Center. We're going to take a different style to our videos today. Instead of standing in a snow pit describing snowpack structure, we're going to do our best to describe our decision making in the field on a tour Sunday, December 15th with the current avalanche problems. Of course, we start our morning reading the CB Avalanche Center weather forecast, moving on to the danger ratings and the avalanche summary, and then of course, understanding the listed avalanche problems. Then we go have that morning meeting with our homies before we head out into the field. Once we're out in the field, while we're walking single file looking at each other's butts, we further discuss how those avalanche problems lay in the terrain and what we can do to use that terrain to our advantage to limit our exposure to the avalanche problems. We then locate safe zones in the terrain appropriate for the current avalanche problems and add space in our group to reduce the consequence if the unexpected happened. As necessary at those regrouping areas, we continue to look ahead and plan our route. In this case, we found a shallow snowpack that had been previously blown off and melted away, allowing us to efficiently move together with no avalanche problem. As we were climbing that slope, we noticed that the snow surface was warming, so we decided to make some snowballs and go bowling. Those bowling balls didn't accumulate mass as they rolled down the hill, so we knew we had time but we didn't necessarily want to loiter as the snow surface continued to warm. Arriving at our first ski, we had changed to a north aspect, so what avalanches were no longer a concern. Wind slabs were up the bat. Luckily, that was an easy assessment because the start zone had previously been blown out. We had a little cross-loading on skiers left, so we discussed with the group how we could manage that, and in the end, it was a simple ski cut. We then further looked ahead to make sure that we had options out of the terrain, checked in with the group to make sure everybody was feeling good, and assess how conditions were changing throughout the day. Now it's time to ski, baby. With no wet avalanche concerns or a wind slab avalanche concern and a deep uniform snowpack, we were good to go. Ski pow in one long pitch. After our transition, it was time to plan a route out. With no wind slab or wet avalanche concerns, we wanted to stay in a deep uniform snowpack and away from trigger points where you have a variable snowpack depth and rocky outcrops. We decided to tow a probe to help with social distancing and so we could confirm that we were staying in a deep snowpack. We continued to see measurements of two and a half to three meters. We also dug a couple hand pits as we were moving up through the terrain to make sure we weren't missing anything in the upper snowpack. We looked ahead to find a regrouping area with no overhead hazard and of course air out those big guns. We then further used that same regrouping area so that we could space out and travel one at a time as we moved through the steepest terrain to gain the ridge. Arriving back on the warm sunny side of the ridge, we knew from previous observations that we wanted to stay away from that warming snow that was easily identifiable from the sunshade line and roller balls on the terrain. So we simply stayed on more northeasterly facing terrain and got some more cold pow. After more assessment, we realized that that easterly facing terrain that had produced roller balls earlier in the day had now recrusted over cold snow below. So we raced on across the bench to get to more ski terrain. At this point, we had high confidence in how the avalanche problems lay in the terrain after a full day of ski tour. So arriving at our last north facing ski, we decided to give it a simple ski cut before diving into the terrain. All right, hopefully that's helpful to look at some decision making while traveling through terrain with the current avalanche problems. Stay up to date at cbavalanchecenter.org. We sure thank you for your support and hope you're having a great time out in the backcountry.